first of all, welcome back. It's lovely With to a be real back. tan, yes. which is rare in these parts. It was very sunny where I went. Where did you go? I went to Florida. Oh. Yeah, it's very popular with us Brits, isn't it, Florida? I'd never been, actually. I did, um, I kind of did that split Disney thing, you know, uh, eight days in Disney World, which was amazing. Did you have fun? I, did, I didn't expect to, because I thought it would be charging around kids, bags, you know, yeah. spending money, like, you know. But actually, it was truly magical. Aww. Stop it! She's such what a cynic. It? it was beautiful, and they, the rides are incredible. I mean, they really are exhilarating, exciting. You feel about ten years old. It's marvelous. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just thinking it is actually my idea of hell. Really? Yeah. Children. Oh, those kids, all those queues. Oh, yeah. nightmare. Yeah, but everyone's smiling everywhere you go. There's no rain. Everybody's like, you know, hell. I mean, even the Disney people, they're all constantly happy, which is really nice. Oh, they're, they're, so very good at, they're good at what they do. I, I give them that. But I, I used to work for them, you know. Did you? And I did used to have to spend quite a lot of time in the parks. And you didn't, you weren't, you dressed up as happy, one of the dwarfs. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was not. And I would never have been. <laughs> they asked me to. But I did, I had to work for them and when I got the job, I, I got the job in London and, um, and the boss at the time, he said to me, well you've got the job, he said, but the first thing you've got to do is you've got to go to the parks, you're going to go to Disney World and Disneyland and uh, you know, you're going to have to uh, spend some time there and I went, oh great, why? And he went, because you're going to have to get dusted. Dusted? Dusted. dusted. And I said, what do you mean? He went, well, once Tinkerbell spreads her dust on you, <laughs> you'll never leave the company and I went, <laughs> And I went there, and um, about three months later, I left. The dust in the world. I've got your bag of dust as a present. Yeah. Oh, no! It's uh, quite interesting, though, when, when um, the Paris one opened, um, having done the American one, where, you know, the Americans are very good, aren't they, at smile and smile. Very good, and yeah. Well, of course, French Mickey Mouse was rather grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't speak English. You know, and my boys would be going, Hello, Mickey. <laughs> well, what do you want? <laughs> well, away. Don't touch me. And Snow White had hairy armpits. <laughs> <laughs> right, kicking off our review of the stories making the headlines this weekend, you may remember a few weeks ago we talked about the extraordinary love affair between two male penguins in Berlin. Well, it seems there's bad news for another gay penguin couple, this time in America. Peppa and Harry, who have shared the same nest for six years and even raised an abandoned chick together, have split up. It seems the love-struck couple have split after becoming involved in a love triangle because shock horror Harry has left Pepper for a female penguin. <laughs> Surprise, Carol? Typical, isn't it? Typical. <laughs> Blokes just are not fussy where they go. <laughs> are they? None of them. Even penguins. I give up. Next up, on a more serious note, a new pressure group wants us to track MPs on their 82-day parliamentary holiday that starts tomorrow and they would like the public's help they've suggested that if we see an MP on our travels we photograph them and ask them exactly what they're up to is it really fair shouldn't MPs be allowed some off-duty time um, do they claim their holidays on expenses <laughs> they would if they could well if they do then absolutely justify I don't think they do and, and you know to be fair yeah, I'm not a fan of MPs but they do deserve a holiday whether or not 82 days is justified I'm not so sure you know and I, and I heard them talking about it yesterday on the radio and they're all saying oh you know we don't stop working we carry on with all our constituency business you know I'm not up for really invading people's privacy even if it's an MP even though they do it to us all the time no, I um, agree. but I, I do think um, 82 days is excessive and I, I wouldn't mind actually if, if uh, constituents Maybe they should keep a check on how many days they do spend in their constituency office yes. mm. dealing with constituency or, work. Or do they just sit at home skiving? Or maybe I don't they're know. better off on holiday. <laughs> do us all a bit we're more good if they're not. On holiday. We're better off when they're away, probably. Um, I don't think I. I mean. I think they are entitled to their holiday, absolutely, and I do think they are entitled to privacy. I mean, I think everyone is on holiday, um, but I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, I wouldn't want to go up to somebody and say, what are you doing here? And, it'll you know, be what... a relief, though, won't it? It'll take away from us a lot, you know, where they hide and you're just about to walk into the sea and you say, oh, no, they're all going to take pictures of my fat body. They can take pictures of Harriet Harman's fat body. <laughs> <laughs> are they nice? I'm no, not. thanks. <laughs> okay, everyone's, everyone's entitled to their holiday, but it's not so much that they're getting 82 days. I think in the current global crisis that we're in economically 
let's abandon the tradition of 82 days when Parliament comes to a grinding halt. Shouldn't we all nose Get to the grindstone, to work. work our way out of, of the mess that we're yes. in? They could try out other people in the, middle in the of break, though, couldn't they? Could have a practice at being an MP, have a few newcomers in, <laughs> see how they get on, you know. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of work experience. Or, of course, you could go up to them. I know we don't want to invade their privacy at all, but I think we would be jolly good as they're on holiday. They've got their 82 days. You could pop up tomorrow on the beach and go, I just want to talk to you about one of your policies. <laughs> yes. Well, they come up to us and say, I saw you in the bill. God, you're rubbish in yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, then again, maybe 82 days isn't enough. Maybe we should give them all a one-way ticket to somewhere very far away forever <laughs> and start again. Just have a whole new line there. We're going to catch our...